Hi folks, this is Max from uh, RootGalaxyNote.com. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, unroot your Note 10.1 back to stock. Uh, this works for all the Note 10.1s. Um, you just have to download the correct firmware. Uh, for this, I'm going to use Windows Computer, use Odin to do it. You can also use Mobile Odin, um, but I'm not going to show you that method right now because for that method, you have to have a working uh, your your you know no template one has to be working. Uh, I'll have another video on that. But for now, let's use uh, Windows to do this. Um, if if your uh, no template one is for some reason a boot loop or something, um, just in case, I'll show you how to do it. Um, just hold down the power button here, and also the volume down. Volume down is the one right next to the power. So go ahead and hold down uh, power and volume down. I right, just hold both buttons down until your uh, Note 10.1 resets. All right, keep holding it down and let go when you see the warning screen, and hit volume up. All right, and next you're gonna connect a uh, your cable uh, to your computer. All right, and then connect it to your computer. And let's go to our computer. Next, you want to download uh, two things: um, uh, Odin and also the actual firmware. Um, so go to uh, samfirmware.com, and for N8013, which one, which is what I'm using right now, I'll have a link to uh, one of the latest firmwares there. Here, um, you want to type in your model number, like uh, you know, if you have the international uh, 3G version, it's going to be. Um, and GTN 7000 whoops sometimes this site gets a little bit iffy you can try reloading it there we go hold on a second there we go I had to close the window and reopen it I typed GTN 7000 I'll go ahead and download the appropriate version the download link is here uh, Sorry, it's GTN 8000. <laughs> if you have the GTN 8000, um, you can check for the model number in your box or on the back of your uh, tablet. It should show you. Um, also, you can search for GTN 8010 if you have the Wi-Fi model. Uh, go ahead and download the pre appropriate version. If you can't find the appropriate version, you can download um, you know something close to it. These are all compatible uh, with the model number you have. And also 8013. Um, so I've actually downloaded the one for N8013 because that's the one I'm using in the video. I've downloaded it and uh, let me show you that. Um, it should be in my downloads folder. And uh, let me see here. What was it called? It was called N8013 uh, blah blah blah. So it is right, right here. So I've downloaded the file. Go ahead and unzip it. Um, double click and extract all files. I've actually already did that and let me show you the folder. Uh, so it's this folder and inside it um, you'll find usually two files uh, DLL file and this file ending in tar.md5. Now um, this is the only file you need and also go ahead and download uh, Odin, Odin uh, 3v185 also unzip this one you'll get a folder with uh, the Odin program, this is two files, and uh, go ahead and run it. Say yes. And you should find, um, I have two columns there, you, sh you should find uh, one yellow hide it, light it box. So let me try that again, because I had one of my, I, my other uh, Note 2s hooked in there. So you should see something like that. Um, the com number doesn't matter, you should see some kind of yellow highlight, highlight it sign. Highlight it box. If you don't see that, go ahead and install the drivers. Uh, unplug the USB cable from your Note 10.1. Plug it back in. You should be able to see it. Um, next, you don't have to touch anything. Go ahead and hit PDA. And go ahead and find that tar.md5 you just uh, unzipped. For me, it's in that folder, N8013, blah, blah. And find the, tar, the file ending in tar.md5. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and click it. Open. Uh, and next you're going to hit start and this will basically unroot you back to a uh, stock firmware so I'm going to do this 
and uh, if for some reason your uh, you know Odin fails here, get a red message or whatever. Um, try plug it into another USB port, and also don't use a USB hub. Uh, most of the time, those are the things that are causing the problem. Um, since this is kind of a big file, it might be why it's hanging right here, uh, but it's gonna probably work. There you go. So it's gonna flash all the stock stuff, and you might have to do a factory reset. Um, so you know, when you do this, do make a backup of everything on your Note 10.1. Um, and uh, um, you know because you might have to do a factory reset you might not have to I didn't actually do it um, but I'll also show you how to do it at the end of this video um, but this should get get me back on a stock ROM and also I've actually backed up my my ROM and all my stuff um, you know using uh, clockwork my recovery so I can always go back after doing this video um, you can also do that if your purpose is not to return your, you know, no 10.4, 10.1 for warranty, and I wouldn't really, you know, do this unless, you know, you want to return it for warranty, or maybe you just want to be on stock ROM, uh, maybe receive stock updates or whatever, and uh, that's pretty much it. And I'll be back when this is uh, done. So it is almost done. It took about five minutes or so. Um, it's doing the last part here and uh, your Note 10.1 should reboot. Um, this is pretty safe to do. If, if it fails or something, you can just try it again. If you get some kind of keys and calendared uh, error mode, you can just run it again uh, in that mode, or you can put it back into download mode. Um, but it should be done here shortly, and we should be all good to go. Um, there we go. So it did, let me change the camera angle. My Note 10.1 is rebooting. I see the lo boot logo. And here we go. And it's rebooting. And uh, I should be back on uh, stock ROM here. Um, just a note if you have an N8013 uh, or GTN8013, that's the Wi Fi US version uh, that I have here, uh, make sure you only flash GTN8013. Uh, likewise, if you have the, like, the European Asian um, uh, Wi Fi version N80. One zero, uh, you know. Make sure you only use the firmware for that, and also likewise for the N8000, uh, the SIM 3G version. I also have that one too. Um, but that's pretty much it, and uh, I'll show you how to get into uh, stock Android recovery to do a factory reset. But when you do that, it will erase everything on your Note 10.1. Um, so just be aware of that and make a backup before you do this. Or also, um, you know, if you, you know, you can also do a factory reset uh, in Clockwork Mod Recovery before you do this. Um, that way, you know, it will only erase your settings and, you know, apps instead of the whole internal storage. Uh, that's an option too. But it looks like if you get this screen, that means um, you're okay. But if you end up in a boot loop, you'll have to do a factory reset. Um, but it looks like I didn't have to do anything. I actually got to keep all my settings and apps here, um, so that's good. But I'll I'll show you also how to do factory reset in case you're returning your Note 10.1 for for warranty. Then you can do an additional step, which will wipe out everything on your Note 10.1, um, and you should be all good to go. And uh, that's pretty much it. And I'll be back when this is done upgrading. All right, it's pretty much done. Um, and also, like I said, you can actually use uh, Mobile Odin Pro. It's like three bucks or something. Totally worth it. I actually have it. Uh, as you can see, I'm back on stock now. Uh, I've actually nothing changed on my thing except that it's stock now. Uh, about device and uh, 4.0.4. You can see I'm back on uh, ICS here, or you know, stock ROM. And that's how you can. Uh, Unroot your Galaxy Note 10.1, and uh, um, and let me show you how to do the factory reset. To do the factory reset, go ahead and hold down uh, power button, and also volume up. Volume up is the one on the right side, the rightmost side. Go ahead and hold both buttons down, and uh, when you see the logo, uh, let go of the power button, but keep holding down the volume up button. It's been a while. Here we go. So this will get you into um, the system recovery, 
and you can actually do a factory reset here. Uh, let me adjust my camera here. Doesn't want to focus. It's too close. There we go. You can just go down to uh, wipe data factory reset uh, and the hit the power button and say yes. I'm not going to do it now, but if you do that, that will wipe out everything. Uh, make your you know Note 10.1 completely stock. And also for those of you wondering uh, how to reset the counter, usually they don't even check it. But if you're paranoid. Um, re before you unroute, uh, go ahead and download and run Triangle Away app. All right, you can. Uh, I think it's like a dollar or two. You can do that before unrooting, and that's pretty much it. Uh, anyway, uh, that was how to unroute, get your you know Note 10.1 back to stock ROM, uh, and uh, if you have a Note 10.1, as always, don't forget to sign up for my email list at rootgalaxynote.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the week, tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here. Subscribe button up there. And I'll see you guys later. Have a great weekend. Yeah.